Hi folks and welcome to the channel with me, Technic Al, and welcome to Shoreham. Why are we in Shoreham, you might ask? Well, we're looking at the new release from Black Box Simulation of the Scottish Aviation Bulldog. And the Bulldog was originally a Beagle Bulldog, uh, developed here at Shoreham, and this is where it had its maiden flight back in 1969. And I'm just showing you uh, some of the liveries that come with the uh, Black Box Bulldog. Uh, there's about nine liveries uh, representing where it served and where it was sold to uh, a very successful two-seat side-by-side trainer. And uh, we're going to take a look at it, a quick start-up and flight uh, of this excellent little trainer. And this is our aeroplane. And let's see if we can get in canopy handle that's useful nice little animation there and uh, we'll get into the cockpit and we'll do a very quick uh, start up so the first thing uh, that we're looking for is a master battery and put that on and then some fuel and we'll turn it to both and uh, open the prop and crack the throttle and then there's the mags and we'll get that onto both there is a starter switch with a cover on so we get the uh, get the cover off the starter and we can uh, engage the sounds in this uh, model are brilliant uh, they've always been good black box have been great at developing uh, the, uh, the bird dog and the uh, islander made uh, an excellent job of this as well really well put together uh, we've got the Garmin in here which is interesting uh, I have to turn the avionics master on uh, for it to fire up uh, and it's uh, default kit I think the, the, the Garmin um, giving you the ability to see to see a, a flight plan uh, and the uh, 3d uh, view with the terrain and uh, I think we better just uh, close the uh, canopy it's a bit awkward the uh, handle is behind us and I don't think that's quite shut so let's just uh, yeah let's make sure it's shut there is actually a lock over on the left hand side which uh, when you first get in you wonder why the canopy handle won't open but there's a lock just here which will now re-lock and uh, we can get underway. Just have a look around, make sure that we're clear, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go for a quick test fly. We can drive past uh, these uh, planes that I've assembled here of, in all the different liveries uh, from uh, the uh, the Hungarian export you see on the left there, test and development plane in uh, blue and white. There's various RAF liveries and uh, a couple there, uh, red and blue and a silver uh, private uh, livery. There's the black and gold RAF and all really well done. Uh, I like the model, the sort of default model I'm in, that's the T1 trainer that uh, we recognise. Uh, this uh, aircraft uh, made the flight here was 1969. I think it went into service with the RAF in the early uh, 70s. About 130 uh, of these trainers were utilised by the RAF, but it was also exported to Malta, Hungary, uh, and Sweden. Uh, and some of the liveries there reflect that. And it's no slouch, this uh, little trainer. It's got a 200 horsepower. Uh, Lycoming engine, uh, it's capable of 130 knots, it's got a ceiling of about 16,000 feet, and can get there at sort of about around 1,000 feet a minute, climb rate, and it's got a range of about 620 miles. So, uh, it's you know, it's a brilliant plane for, uh, well, for training, side by side training, but it you know, it's a very capable aircraft as well. There's a, a G meter you may have spotted on the control panel, and it's rated to uh, plus six G, minus three G. 
uh, and there is a resettable um, G meter just above just above the GPS there. Um, I forgot to reset it, but uh, obviously I hadn't been pull pulling too many Gs. And uh, as we take off, we fly over Shoreham, uh, some nice scenery here. Further down the coast, we won't go that far today. Is uh, Brighton? We're just next door to Brighton, which is a photogrammetry area. Not the best photogrammetry I've seen, but uh, it's there nonetheless. Uh, and Shoreham was the uh, where Beagle aircraft were based uh, until they were taken over by uh, Scottish Aviation and moved up to Prestwick. Um, this plane handles really well. Uh, as you'd expect from a trainer, it's quite forgiving, its stall is, is quite benign. Um, but what is surprising is 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 that it, it you know it, it's no slouch and uh, and it's good fun with its with its uh, G capabilities uh, in an aerobatic sense um, and it's well modelled you know it's simple straightforward uh, analog gauges and uh, I love it I just love it the other thing is that the uh, bubble co co cockpit, the glass is, is great for visibility and really excellent in VR. We'll just pull a few G's here. We have got permission to uh, fly low over the uh, airfield today because uh, because we're celebrating the uh, maiden flight. We have a collection of the Bulldog here. Um, maybe, a couple, yeah, maybe a couple of G there. Fly a bit harder on the next turn. There's our fleet lined up. Yeah, G meters is showing a good two now, so uh, obviously uh, that can be reset. And, uh, nice little feature. The uh, instrument panel is very clear, and uh, you know, the actual uh, aspect of the, the plane is superb. Yeah, in VR it's brilliant, but you want to see the detail in the TV. I'm going to do the uh, shortest turn to uh, final, you'll ever see. But this, and we're quite high, but with, with full flaps uh, and the benign nature of uh, low, relatively low stall speed, we can just float in. Give us a chance to have a look at the uh, exterior, um, which is really sharp. It looks like I'm going to land reasonably well. Just managed to tip one wheel first, but we're okay. Um, I'm coming in nicely. So, uh, yeah, available from Black Box Simulation. It's around £20, €25. Euros. It's just a must have uh, with plane. If you're into your GA and you see these things, uh, in the real world, everywhere, because the RAF uh, sold them off in 19, uh, uh, sorry, in 2001, I think they, uh, they moved on, and they were taken up um, by General Aviation uh, at a decent price, I believe. Well, that's about it, guys. Uh, one for the hangar, I think. I'll catch you later. Bye.